Well, it was 10 years ago that Melinda and I said the world should go back and have the eradication of malaria as a target. That wasn't the first time it was said. Several times the world has tried. It hasn't had the right tools, so it's a very difficult problem. What Melinda and I saw was that with better drugs, better bed nets, insecticides, uh, better ways of killing mosquitoes, that you know, we felt if we brought the right innovation to it, even if it took decades, that it was worth doing and it was worth getting the, the best thinkers back on the problem. Almost 90% of the deaths are in Africa. And so that's where it's gonna be the toughest. The number of mosquitoes is huge, the terrain, the infrastructure in those countries, that's where malaria is most intense. We said, let's go clear the parasite, get it out of the humans and the mosquitoes, and make sure it doesn't come back in. We're reducing the number of cases in the toughest places and seeing if we can drive malaria all the way down to zero. Swaziland, it's an area where we really think we can cut the cases dramatically, uh, perhaps even uh, move malaria out of the country altogether. Now it's turned out to be a bit harder than we thought because a lot of people are traveling from Swaziland to relatives in Mozambique. And Mozambique has very intense malaria. Now you'll have the problem of people who cross over that line coming back and reintroducing malaria. And so what we do is we go out and we look for wherever a case comes up we take everybody around that case and we clear the malaria there as well. But it's amazing if you can start shrinking that map and it will give you the lessons you need to eventually go and even get the, the very toughest countries.